I have some big news to share for people that hate both movies and video games. Dwayne the Cock Johnson is gonna be- what? Really? I- I suppose the Cock Johnson is a little redundant. Anyway, he's coming out with a super secret brand new video game movie. <laughs> Listen, this isn't the star of Skyscraper's first rodeo in the video game world. The guy was in Doom. Critically acclaimed Doom, if you remember that one, cinematic masterpiece Doom. It did have that first person perspective shot, which everyone liked. Uh, and, and that accounts for like eight minutes of the film, so huzzah! And also 2018's Tour de Force Rampage. This news was reported on by Men's Journal, where he was being interviewed because I guess he works out or something. I don't know what they were talking about. He did say this is going to be the biggest, most badass video game movie ever, though. And that's saying nothing because game movies are almost always horrible. When one of the best video game films is Sonic the Hedgehog? I mean, dear gods, we're in trouble. He did go on to give us a little tiny morsel of information saying it's a video game property he's played for years. How delicious. <laughs> Ooh, the gossip. And he said he's gonna do right by the fans. Although we do have that new Tom Holland Uncharted film around the corner and that looks like my 9-11. I do have a couple of ideas of what it could be noodling up top here, but I thought it would be fun to reach out to the YouTube community via the community tab, and they had some thoughts. And I should point out, going forward when I interact with my audience, it's going to be via Patreon and YouTube memberships. So maybe think about joining in one of those places, and you could have your comment featured. Boris McQueen says it's Tetris, a story about the delivery man who could stack boxes the most efficiently in Moscow. You had a decent premise and you completely knocked it out of the park with the Moscow twist. I'd also like to point out The Rock would be playing the block, the, the square brick, because of course we can smell what the block is cooking, it fits his mantra, it, it, it just feels right. He's a strong, sturdy ox of a man, a brick wall. Let's give him the block. Gibson Crandall says, I can't imagine a better live action Kirby. I have nothing to add, that's perfect. John of the Dead says Doom 2, and they'll do that sequel thing where they bring back The Rock even though he died, Highlander 2 style. David Savage gets real savage here, he says if it's not Pitfall so he can dress like steroid Steve Irwin for like the 10th time, then what are they even doing? Either that or Battletoads, he'll play the speeder level because rocks are hard, never mind. The Battletoads thing only works if the final end credits are spit coming out to do that. It's the pause song from the game. You do bring up a good point, Savage, and that is the jungle setting. The Rock is attracted to the jungle. He needs to be there. He feasts there. He hunts there. He works out there. If there's not a jungle setting, why even bother? That's how you get The Rock out of his cage. You bring him to shore. You give him some water, some palm trees, some coconuts. I was convinced for the longest time that Dwayne Johnson just spent six months straight in front of a green screen doing every kind of piece of dialogue and action sequence he could think of. And then it's just kind of an a la carte for directors and studios to choose from. Like, ooh, I really like uh, brown shirted rock and his personality as well. He's the rock every time, so nothing changes there. It's really just a clothing change at the end of the day. The pecs are still flexing constantly. You still have the eyebrow lift. A lot of material to work with there, but I think a jungle setting is paramount. Lahi Sorensen, I'm not sure I said that right, I apologize. He says, get ready to be excited for movies again. It's a live action adaptation of the classic Solitaire, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, where one man must defy all odds stacked against him in a non-stop fast-paced action. Can he save us all by uniting the kingdoms and bringing them together in order? Coming soon to streaming services near you. Cards on the table. Armand Sharma guesses live action Pac-Man. Can't wait for the probably toxic fan base to scream at you for missing the intricacies of the Red Ghost lore. Aaron brings up Spy Hunter, that movie that was supposed to come out like a decade ago. The guy who edits suggests Minecraft the movie. Dwayne plays Steven, a man who's thrust into a world he knows nothing about and no memory of how he got there. The B-plot sees an attractive female co-star, because that's how Dwayne Johnson movies work, playing the programmer trying to get him out of the game. I know Steve is the main character in Minecraft, but I know there's a woman too. She's blonde, has a nice rack. Uh, I mean, I think. They're, they're blocks, so it's hard to... It's hard. I use my imagination. I'm very lonely. Fuck it. Toss and Brie Larson, we got a picture here. 
Johnny Sillers goes with Spyro, the roided out dragon. <laughs> Dean understands the jungle thing and says, type in game plus jungle and pick one. That's beautiful. A lot of people suggested Tetris because that just seems dumb enough to not work. So Holly would go with it. Some people said Pitfall because of the jungle setting. I don't think Pitfall has a chance. It's not popular at all. Uh, they're gonna wanna do something that the kids know. They're gonna wanna do something that is hot right now or has been for like a decade. And that is Fortnite. Let's be honest, this is probably a Fortnite movie. Dwayne Johnson's prominently featured in the new season. He's got a statue, he's got a character in the game. He's part of the story. Yes, I play Fortnite. It's not the only thing I play. I'm waiting for Horizon 2 to come out in a couple weeks. It's a, it's a palate cleanser. I'm in between games. I just finished Guardians of the Galaxy, which was really, really well done. So this is just a interloper. Is that the right term? I don't know, who cares? Shut up! Honestly though, if I was a betting man, which I'm not because I'm terrible at gambling, I would put money on Fortnite being the call here. Now, some have said God of War. That would be a mistake. Although he obviously has the physique, I don't think anybody can look at Dwayne Johnson and not see him as Dwayne Johnson. And I'd really like Kratos better represented by someone that has a little bit more acting pedigree or at least a no name that we don't have to associate with Hobbs and Shaw or Walking Tall, things of that nature. One I didn't come up with, but I saw suggested around the internet is Gears of War. Uh, that's a solid franchise. It's been around since the Xbox 360. That's possible. Uh, I, I don't... I don't think it's Gears of War, but I could see that one working and I could see him, you know, doing a pretty good job in that film. Let's time capsule this though and come back in a few months when it is announced what that project is and you can say, wow, Adam, you're right, it was Fortnite. You really have your finger on the pulse of youth. Thank you for watching this stupid video and for your suggestions. Like the video if you had some fun, subscribe if you haven't. I post movie content all the time now and uh, hopefully I'll see you around. Take care. You smell what The Rock's cooking? It's Cooking Mama, the movie, starring Dwayne Johnson as, you guessed it, the mama. No, that, that's stupid. Or is it? Yeah, it, it, it's stupid. You know what's not though? Checking me out on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or becoming a join member right here on YouTube. I mentioned it in the video, I'm mentioning it again at the end because I have nothing better to talk about. And now I stand here waiting your decision. Don't let me down.